Hello and welcome to the Westchester County Mobility and Transit Plan. Today we'll tell you about what the plan is, what it will do, and how you can get involved. The Westchester County Mobility and Transit Plan is an effort to better align Westchester's mobility network with the needs of its residents, workers, and visitors. The study looks at the region's transportation services, demographics, employment trends, and other factors to understand how well the transit system matches existing travel needs and identify opportunities to strengthen it. So what are Westchester's goals in terms of mobility? First and foremost, the county aims to design a reliable transit system emphasizing speed, convenience, and comfort. This means quicker beeline trips, less delay, and more direct connections to key destinations. In improving the transit system, the county will create a family of transit service options to match mobility services with Westchester's numerous travel markets. People use transit in a wide variety of ways, and different types of service are appropriate in different contexts. Some areas need high frequency service all day. Others can best be served by flexible demand responsive service. Importantly, Westchester County aims to develop a more equitable and socially just transportation network, one that provides opportunities for prosperity and quality of life to users of all ethnicities, incomes, abilities, and ages. So how are we going to build a plan that achieves these goals? Let's take a look at the planning process for this study. From the outset, the study team has been assessing the current mobility context in Westchester. The goal is to build a complete picture of where people are, where they're going, and what their mobility needs are. The study team has also been engaging with the public, elected officials, civic leaders, businesses, social service agencies, and other stakeholders. This engagement will supplement a rigorous analysis of transit data with real human experience and will inform future changes to the way transit is provided. Working with information gathered through assessment and outreach, the study team is designing transit service scenarios and will eventually develop these into a final plan. The plan will be the blueprint for a transit and mobility system that meets community needs today while being responsive to changing mobility needs in future. A variety of social, economic, and transportation factors shape the way people travel around Westchester, and this next section provides an overview of the current mobility context in the county. Westchester has a large population. Almost one million people live in the county, undertaking millions of trips every day. Population density is highest in a few areas, the southern portion of the county and in city centers. In fact, 40% of county residents live in just four of the county's 45 municipalities, White Plains, New Rochelle, Yonkers, and Mount Vernon. Westchester also has a strong economy and is home to roughly 417,000 jobs. Jobs in Westchester are broadly, but not entirely, concentrated in the same areas where population is concentrated, the southern portion of the county and major city centers. Population and job density matter because they determine what types of transit or mobility service are appropriate in a given area. Places with a high density of people, jobs, or both can support more varied and frequent transit service than areas with lower population or job densities. Density isn't the only thing shaping mobility in the county. Car ownership is also particularly impactful. In Westchester, 85% of people own at least one car and are thus more likely to drive. Of the 15% of households that do not have access to private vehicles, many are highly concentrated in just a few areas, notably Yonkers, Mount Vernon, and New Rochelle. Westchester County needs a strong multimodal transportation network to provide vital transportation services to those without cars. The county also needs to provide viable transportation options so that even those with cars do not have to rely on their vehicles for every trip. Providing alternatives is important in reducing congestion and making transportation more environmentally sustainable in the county. By looking at several socioeconomic factors together, we can get a better sense of how people are likely to get around. Based on national research, the study team looked at localized data on low-income households, zero-vehicle households, and minority residents to assess how likely people are to use transit in a given area. 
transit propensity analysis in Westchester indicates that transit ridership is likely to be higher in dense areas of the county with lower rates of vehicle ownership like Yonkers, White Plains, and Mount Vernon. Maintaining transit service in these areas will be important, but Westchester County is also identifying ways to provide transportation in other areas and to ensure a complete mobility system. To plan for a more complete mobility system, this project is looking not just at the socioeconomic conditions that affect mobility, but also at current countywide travel patterns. Using anonymized cell phone GPS data, the project team can see that overall daily travel flows within Westchester are highest in the southern third of the county, particularly between Yonkers and points north, and between White Plains and points west. Similarly, overall daily travel flows into and out of Westchester are highest between the county and New York City. Prior to the pandemic, over 700,000 trips occurred between these two regions every day. Between 100,000 and 200,000 trips occurred per day between Westchester and points to the west, north, and east. Travel flows through Westchester are much lower. The highest through flow, roughly 30,000 trips per day, occurred between New York City and Connecticut. Transit, particularly the B-Line bus system, plays an important role in Westchester's mobility network, and bus ridership in Westchester is high in comparison to much of the country. There were nearly 27 million trips in 2019, prior to the pandemic, carrying almost 100,000 riders per day. B-Line's reach makes it an important part of the transit puzzle in Westchester. 80% of jobs and 78% of residents are within a half mile or roughly 10 minute walk of a B-Line bus stop. Similarly, 69% of jobs and 67% of residents are within a quarter mile or five minute walk of a bus stop. B-Line therefore serves most people and jobs within Westchester. While the B-Line system has a countywide reach, ridership activity is concentrated in the southern portion of the county and along major corridors south of I-287. Yonkers, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, and White Plains are hotspots, while thoroughfares like Route 119 and Central Park Avenue are busy corridors. So how does all this socioeconomic, demographic, and transportation data get used in planning for improved mobility in Westchester? Ultimately, the assessment of the county's mobility context, as well as analysis of the B-Line system and input from members of the public will all feed together into a plan for improved transit and mobility. Progress in developing this plan is well underway. Currently, the study team is developing alternative transit service proposals that build upon the understanding of the mobility context and the B-Line system. The study team is also gathering input with the goal of developing a plan informed by data and human experience by this summer. Crucially, we need your input. Telling us what does and doesn't work about transit and mobility in Westchester today will help plan for a better future. Please visit our project website at www.westchestermobility.org. There you'll find information on the project and upcoming steps. On the website, you'll be able to provide feedback and help the study team learn about mobility issues and opportunities. You can also subscribe for email updates to be kept informed about the project. On behalf of Westchester County, thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.